ASI 小野阿里奥斯。All answers are temporary, and they should always prepare us to ask better questions for tomorrow, and help to develop the concept of new. The present knowledge we have today should be the essence of ongoing progress and discoveries of tomorrow. Everything we know is the beginning of the things that we don't. Progress will never be satisfied. Everything evolves, it changes, and transforms to its next level, one time or another. The question is, when, how, and by whom? In order to see the future in anything, we have to believe in it first, and be ready to deal with all what it takes to think new. In order to see what is waiting for us for tomorrow, we have to be able to abandon what we are believing today, and give up the securities of what is safe and popular. We have to be courageous to pay the price of not following others, to be accused of not being realistic and alienated because of it, or even ridiculed and discredited for simply thinking outside the norms. Even though we should all know by now that new ideas always come from the out-of-the-box thinkers, outsiders, creative ones, crazy ones, progressive thinkers, risk-takers, the ones being ignored by most. New ideas always floating around all the time, always have and always will be. Each generation has their own progressive thinkers and truly creative minds. But the question is that how the establishment perceive them? Will they welcome new ideas into their protective thought process, or they resist changes? New ideas and the progress always being ridiculed first. Then they've been opposed violently. But if somehow they survive all the resistance, then they were accepted and celebrated as being obvious. Progress is not a luxury. It is the necessary element of a robust existence, because everything always moves forward. Changes and evolves, thrives. Ideas kept outside of this process will become malignant and they vanish. But if they are forcefully kept active, they cause a chain reaction of destruction. Industry leaders and the ones who are waiting the opportunity to lead has no other choice but to think ahead constantly, just to stay viable. Print magazine industry is no different. It is not exempt from this reality. In order to establish a meaningful vision. For the print magazines of the future, with its new publishing models and business options, for the evolution of its products and renaissance of its production methods, we have to begin our quest by offering a new purpose and a new identity that defines what print magazines can transform to be for the future, beginning in our times. A new purpose and motivation of its newly established responsibilities, in addition to a groundbreaking and ambitious vision for its business plans and publishing options, this vision will transform this quest into a cultural conquest. 
The partnership with businesses that understand the value of arts and artists born from consciousness, originality, responsibility, true imaginations and innovations that we all agree is essential for our survival. With its new purpose, the New Age print magazines will make the print industry a leading cultural platform that will shape our lives, form our senses, our consciousness, and influence our behavior far more intimately and effectively than the digital media alone. This vision will complete digital media, not compete with it. And with this new partnership, it will transform the print magazine industry for the future. As long as the new print magazine industry will continue its evolutionary process to be compatible with digital innovation surrounding us, print magazines will always share the responsibility of developing our cultures in partnerships with all innovations affecting our lives. As long as it doesn't lose the core values and the reasons that make print medium very special to us. As long as humans have the need to touch an organic texture such as paper to remind us that we are still organic creatures, the print magazines will be essential to our psyche and to our senses. Well visioned, properly created and packaged, the cutting edge print industry will always have hidden but natural advantages against digital publishing. And with this vision, the art book print magazines and print collectibles will represent the evolution of print magazines that will lead the partnership with digital media in many ways, including the economics. But for this, we have to stop being in the defense and start building confidence with real reasons to claim the leading role by promoting true arts that is created from consciousness that will inspire our everyday lives in most natural ways. And we should take advantage of the fact that internet sensations are nothing else but an engineering marvels, not artistic ones. In order to see the complete picture of this vision, we have to turn our attention to the real meaning of arts and artists firstly to their true purpose and their crucial responsibilities that are most important to our cultures and our awareness, as well as to our everyday lives and our consciousness. Because with this vision, we have started a new purpose, a new identity for the print magazines, and the true arts being the tool and the mean to fulfill this purpose that real artists will make it happen. In the dawn of the age of Aquarius, the age of enlightenment, we almost discover the process how humans are created, what we are made of, and reinventing who we are. And yet, we still have no meaningful and universally acceptable definition of what art is. How can it be? It seems this definition belongs to a group of so-called experts to define what art is or not. We call the best of everything the state of arts, and yet we identify arts with at most vague definitions. If true arts and artists are the best humanity can offer, 
why we are still not identifying arts in such a way that it will be so clear so there will be no chance of misinterpreting or misidentifying what it is. Why is that? When we are talking about arts, we're not talking about the crafts, the beauty, taste, etc. They're all good and we need them. But our goal is to define the work of the best that humanity offers. We are talking about who are the real artists and what true art is. Some say, if artist says it's art, it's art. Well, is it a bit constricted and self-serving? Because if you don't know what art is, means we don't know what artists are. So who's going to define what art is? Arts for Arts concept legitimize the handful of opportunities to control the meaning, the purpose, and the functions of arts. By most, Picasso being called one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. He said, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Really? He said this to cover himself up, of course, but by the sport of others who like to steal like him from the original thinkers, words got stuck and the message being sent. It is okay to steal from others because Picasso said it. But if you accept this nonsense, what can we expect from this process? Celebrate whoever is still the best as long as serve our interests? What about the originality, creativity, and celebrating human uniqueness? Is this makes any sense in the pursuit of defining the best that humanity offers? Seems the art's been hijacked by the mercy of the opportunist. Rather than illustrating our senses, the best of what humanity can offer for all. Museums? Well, if they're not corrupt already, they're pushing people outside of the essence of what art should be. Movies are a formula, theater is disappearing, TV is brain-numbing trash, books are shrinking, what poetry? Why is that? Arts and artists should be serving people, using their tools to connect with them, include them, complete them, understand them, encourage them, guide them. Arts should be with us in our everyday lives. It should be identified and measured by how much inspires us all in all aspects of our lives, effortlessly, intimately, freely. So it will establish its presence in our habits, in our choices, and in our consciousness. Not like we are a spectator to an event or something to buy or envy. Maybe like a beautiful sunset that is part of our everyday lives that inspires us, that we are all energized by each time when we experience it, and it is for free of charge. So can we say that a part of its confusing definitions, self-serving purpose, beyond talent, taste and craft, art is an energy that is created by our consciousness and through all its applications, tools and style, it creates our culture, our purpose. Arts may be a portal for our salvation. The purpose of arts should bring back our senses that we born with, but got lost in this senseless world that we have created. Arts should be in our lives intimately. We should be consuming it, living it, not be excluding from it and kept outside of it, not become a spectator of it, because our lives, our future, our survivals depends on it.
you might ask, okay, I got all this, but what this got to do with print magazine publishing? Well, it is everything to do with it, the way we see the future of the print magazines. The print magazines of the future, if it is created correctly, with the right purpose, and with the right understanding how print magazines should exist in our lives, will be the leading force of arts and consciousness, a source of ideas and inspiration, the platform for creativity and literature, representation of cultures and businesses. And it will become a sensible balancing act of the technological metamorphosis of our cultures, presented as of print arts on each page that will become part of our everyday lives, as of the new arts that born from our consciousness by true artists for the age of Aquarius. One time in the history, and still is to some degree, we were getting our inspiration, ideas that transformed our lives, fuel for our imagination from all kinds of books. In recent years, for one reason to another, book readers are in decline. Therefore, book publishing and all the benefits books are offering is in decline. The new vision for the evolution of print magazines can fill this void perfectly and can achieve it in a massive scale in intimate ways. The art book magazines and print collectibles could lead all on creating our cultures on a scale and effectiveness that is unimaginable in today's technologically driven or culturally starving civilization. And if it is done correctly by real artists, as a true art form, to care for the people to inspire them, connect them to higher energy that will elevate their everyday lives for free of charge, Art book magazines could lead all art forms to inspire people in large scales like never before. This vision will not only create an amazing and noble purpose for the new age print magazines, but in its business model options of new way of publishing them, will also generate a business potential that is unimaginable today's standards, which we believe will be the preferred businesses for the future media entrepreneurs. There's a tremendous opportunity waiting for the print magazines in the age of Aquarius, if they allow themselves to go through their evolution and get out of their defensive mode. Therefore, they can lead, succeed, and thrive by realizing their true potential and their value in the possibilities of today's reality. ASI's vision for the new age print publishing rising for this occasion with its new purpose of taking the responsibility to be the leading platform to shape our cultures, our intellect, our senses and awareness, our daily decisions and thought process by reaching out to hundreds of millions for free of charge. In order to analyze this vision and understand its components, we have to look at the print publishing industry in five sections. First is the new title, the art book magazines and print collectibles, we call it. A new description and a new purpose for the new age print magazines. Then the products, a new philosophy for design, a new look, a new package, a new way of creating art books as a form of art. The third component is the new production methods, how to create the art book magazines. Why is it different and better? The fourth is the distribution methods and the condition of giving it away for free of charge. 
like all other internet products, as part of being the same culture. And the fifth component of this vision is the revolutionary way of publishing it. Our unique ways of publishing artbook magazines will stabilize its earnings from unpredictable advertising revenues, create more income, more possibilities for advertisers beyond the realities in today's publishing practices. All the information presented in this vision are documented, tested, and ready to be implemented. It is ASI's intent that is, in the near future, we are going to share all of the details of our vision with selected entities and publishers who are searching ideas for the future models of print magazine publishing. And because of their track record of their efforts, we believe they should be awarded by receiving the details of our vision in advance before we go public. At this time, we can only share a limited information regarding to specifics and the key elements of our It is revolutionary that might be, but if this vision will be implemented only by few progressive publishers and corporations, even though they will get great financial benefits from it independently, it won't add up to be a new publishing revolution. In order to achieve the entire vision with its cultural aspects of it, as well as its business transformation for the industry, all publishers and corporations should be aware of this vision sooner or later. And we are going to make sure that they do. In a quick overview, maybe we can underline the winners in this vision as the public, print arts lovers, readers in hundreds of millions, print publishing industry, and the new entrepreneurs, new age print magazine publishers, advertisers, industrialists, small businesses, writers and novelists, book publishers, artists, and printers. There is one detail I would like to share, just to raise some eyebrows, see some eyes rolling, just to provoke the skeptics and for them to say, this is impossible. But also intrigue the progressive ones a bit more for getting them excited even further. Here it is. Each product created, produced and published under the conditions of this vision will earn up to $100 million for its owners and another $100 million for its team of publishers all combined annually. This claim will be unimaginable to almost all, except for few, which all of the details will be presented to them personally in order to make them take the lead, the print publishing industry for the future. We have to be ready to see the prospects of the publishing industry to realize, appreciate, and benefit it from what is waiting for us in the future. And for that, we have to be recognizing and treating New Age Publishing as an art form. Yes, we have created this vision and made it works, but it is up to the new thinkers, true leaders of the publishing industry, to make it a print publishing revolution and a transformation of the print magazines as one of the best and revolutionary examples of arts and commerce vision for the print publishing of the future. Not only as a well-deserved evolutionary business success, but as an inheritance that we owe to leave behind for the future generations, as well as for the public that is starving for cultural, intellectual, and artistic enlightenment.